Hello, it's Davina here and I'm going to show you how to use Taggle.com because I haven't found anything on the site which tells me how to get going. First of all, you need to put Taggle.com into your browser, press enter and you will come to the site and this is the home page. And here it gives you some idea of how you can use the Taggles. You either have to sign up or sign in. And I signed up before, so what I need to do is sign in now. Username and password and click sign in. And this takes you to my cloud. I have got one there, which I created before, but we're going to create a new cloud. So if we click on there, and this is the window where you created in. This is the demo cloud, and here is where you put your text and do your colors and shapes and all that sort of thing. So it's going to be cloud three. I'm going to clear this text, and I'm going to paste in something that I've already copied. I'm actually using the same text because I want to show you how good it looks when it's put into the cloud. So I'm copying that and I'm clicking and then pasting there. So we've got the text. I leave these the same. Appearance is what's important. These are the different shapes that come with the program, but the exciting one is this one here, the custom shape, and you can use any shape that you've created. So if I go there and I got the bell that I've found and click open, and you want a, a reasonably good edge, if you move this here, uh, it's back to the original, and I don't want that, although it might be quite interesting to see. And that one, it's a little bit jagged. So that's what I want. Press OK. So we've got the bell. We need fonts. And I'm just very quickly going to click. We'll have that one. Uh, we'll have Heuristica and Bold. Let's have a bit of a, a quirky one. We'll have there. Colours and animations. These two are the defaults. If you don't like them, press this one to get rid of it and then click on here to choose your own colours. I quite like black, but I want another one and I'm going to go with green and I've got another one and go with red. And if you want a further one, which I don't, but the colours show up there. So click off. So we've got that, and let's have a background colour. Come down here. Um, that, that's possibly quite good. The rollover box, that's that one there. And if you don't want to see it, then you move the slider. So a little bit there. Play around with it anyway. We've done all that. So when you've done what you want to do, click Visualize. And that's made quite a nice bell shape. And the other interesting thing is if you click on a letter, it will take you to Google where the definition how cool is that? Okay, so if you want to save the changes, click on there and that will save it in your My Clouds and I'll show you. And that's where it is. So let's go back to it. And the next one, if you want to grab and share, and you can either save it as a PNG, which basically means it's made of pixels, 
or, and this I think is really fantastic, you can save it as a vector graphic, an SVG, which means that if you bring it into Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator, you can do all sorts of things with it. But for the moment, I'm going to save it as a PNG and oh, I'll just put it there somewhere. And that's how you use it. A great little piece of software. Bye-bye for now.